Welcome back. Well, we're here on uh, Anone, chasing crabs into the water in the hope that that will accomplish something. Because as we've seen, the lights on this tower turn off when the crabs are not on the island. So maybe something will happen when all of the lights are off. Um, okay. Let's push this one off. As well. Now there is actually um, a crab on that island. Or at least there was the last time I was, uh, I was here. I hope it's still there. You're not going to run to the lake in the middle, are you? No. And I want to get to that island. Or maybe we can swim. And in actuality we can, however the currents are very very strong which makes it extremely hard to get to that island. And I'm gonna try it, I might not succeed. As far as I know, this is the only instance in any of the Mist games where you are actually able to swim. Normally water is a unbreachable barrier. You have to find your way around. I made it in one try at that. So now I am here at the tower. And it seems that the crab has jumped off on his own accord. So that was a bit of a waste of time. There is, however, another one of these uh, symbols here, which looks like the one we saw in the viewer earlier, in uh, the Watcher Sanctuary. Um, so let's take a picture of that. And see if we can get in the tower. Well, this window isn't a lot of help. Okay, well, um, looks like this is the door to the tower, but there is no obvious way to open it. Um, there is actually something else here. From this ledge, we can see a number, 372. Well, let's make note of that one as well. And then it's back to uh, crab hunting. And there's no place I can actually get onto the island from the uh, outside. I have to get into the lake. The only, pretty much the only place you can get uh, back on land is over here. Okay. Well, more crabs to uh, push off the island. Come on. Go. And there's another one. Off you go. The 
that's where you are. And that's where you're going. Okay, that didn't make an awful lot of sense. But, okay. I think that's good enough. Well, you're not going to chase around the entire tree, are you? For some reason, they don't really want to go uh, uh, off the edge of the island on the outside. They'll always go to the uh, to the inside, towards the lake. Oh, that's... I think that's the last one, unless I missed any. Oh, and he ran off the outside. Thus disproving what I just said. We look at the tower now, there's two more lights indicating that there is actually still a quap left. Oh, now it's only one light. Is there actually still a quap? Hmm. seems that this light is moving as I do. So this light does not represent the quap. It represents me. Apparently uh, this thing is uh, some kind of sensor or radar or whatever that shows life forms on the island. Or maybe it's pressure based or something. So everything is off the island except me. To return all lights off, I have to be off the island. Maybe something will happen then. Well, let's use this linking book so the island will be completely empty. Maybe something will have happened. It's not likely, but still. I mean, there's not much else we could have tried. And we can't swim to those distant islands because of the strong currents. But who knows? Something may just have happened. And yes, I guess you could say something happened. Is this still Anone? It's so different. The water is gone. The sky is all dreary. There's lightning. And the islands in the distance also look like they're completely destroyed. And there's no more quaps. Well, the tower is still there. And there's blue lights, even though there's no quaps. That's weird. So what's going on here? Well, if you remember uh, Simpson's notebook, he said that Anone was used by Kerish to prove that he could tr uh, travel through time. He could travel to the Dunny homeworld, which I would assume is the Gartene, which where they originated, or maybe they didn't originate there, I'm not actually sure. But I think it might be Gartene. Uh, both in the, the past, the present, and the future. Well, if the previous one was the past, then this would be the present. Did we just travel through time? Oh, look, when you walk towards these trees, they disintegrate. Interesting. And I call them trees, they're more like crystals. They're crystal trees. Another fun game, destroying the crystals. So, Cage could actually travel through time? Does that mean he's actually the grower? Weird. But if Katers could travel through time, how did we do it? Interesting. Uh, if you look at the uh, tower now, you see that some of the lights have turned off as I destroyed the trees. So now, instead of responding to quaps, they appear to respond to these crystal trees. If, if Kadish could travel through time, that's one thing, but how did I just travel through time? Well, it would seem that... K 
Kadish somehow imbued his power into uh, the linking book, maybe, so that anyone who uses it can travel through time. But then, why didn't it happen the first time? What does it have to do with this tower and the and the quabs or the trees or whatever the, these lights are responding to? It makes no sense. How could he actually travel through time? It's weird, weird. Well, we're going to have to make sense of that uh, later, because we're out of time now. So, I'll see you in the next video.